Welcome to our first fluid mechanics tutorial. Uh, today I'm gonna give one example about how the pressure reacts uh, based on uh, elevation. What I have on the uh, uh, page right now is a tank uh, with oil on one side. Uh, it's open to the atmosphere and the other side which is um, this side here is sealed and with air above the oil. The oil uh, has a specific gravity of uh, 0.9 SG of oil 0.9 and we are asked to uh, calculate the uh, pressure at point A, B, C, D, E and F. Now let's go ahead and um, do the uh, solution. Pressure for point A. Now, if you take a look at point A, it's actually on the uh, surface of the oil, and it so happened it's also exposed to the atmosphere. So the pressure at A is equals to atmospheric pressure. And that will give us zero gauge pressure. Now, if I want to move to uh, point B, point B has a distance of three meters from A. So point B is actually PA plus rho G H. Pressure A is zero, and the density for oil is actually the specific gravity of oil times the density of water. Now this here is actually the density of oil times G which is 9.81 meters per second square times H which is 3 meters. So the pressure to be is 26.5 kilo Pascal and this is also a gauge pressure let's move to uh, point C pressure at C which is 6 meters from where point A is so the pressure at point C is point pressure at A plus rho G H and that is also 0 0.9 times 1000 times the G times 6 meters and this will give 52.97 kilopascal Pressure at D. Now, if you take a look at uh, D 
this diagram here D and B is at the same elevation from where point A which is the atmospheric pressure is now um, all points having the same depth will carry the same pressure provided is under the same uh, fluid and in this case here is oil so it means that point D and point B or even somewhere here will have the same pressure so point uh, the pressure at point D is actually equivalent to point B and that is also 26.5 kilopascal Pressure at point E, also at the same elevation as point A, so it also has the same pressure as A, which is zero gauge or atmospheric pressure, which is zero gauge. And the only thing that is unique here is actually at point F. At point F, which is above uh, point A, so it means that this um, area here is actually um, a vacuum pressure. So what you have. Uh, Pressure at F is negative zero point nine times one thousand times nine point eight one times the difference, which is one point five meters and gives you negative 13.24 kilopascal and this is also gauge pressure and the negative signify that is vacuum <laughs> 